Okay, so in today's episode, what does the Bible, Bible say about Santa Claus? And you can see it's I have a lot of pictures in this video. But anyway, so maybe later, well, I know. Before that, I want to show you something. I know later on in the future, if there's any other countries you want to talk about, just let me know. And you can talk about India if you want to. It is real. Italy, Russia, or a country that is about as big as the United States, or or you can also talk about another country that is big as that as big as the United States of America, which will be China. You can also talk about Taiwan, or or Canada, or Mongolia, whatever. You can also talk about Mexico too, so. But I don't have a Mexican flag over here, so. Hmm. But I don't have a Mexico flag in this um, picture. So I have to take a look for that. But, but I want to talk about Santa Claus anyway, but I'll take a look at that first. So I mean, let me let me get a picture of the Mexico flag first. Oh, so we just just images, okay. I'm like, okay, I want to okay. Let me take a look at Wikipedia first, okay. Then I will take a look about Santa Claus because I don't like Santa Claus for a minute, but just want to take a look at the picture here. Okay, let me do the Wikipedia, okay, because I don't know what to. Do. Because I don't have it in this um, holiday thing. But first, and yes, I'm going to be talking about Santa Claus, but first, I want to just save the flag, the Mexico flag, too. Okay, and now I want to take. Okay, now close. Okay. Okay, we can also you can also talk about Mexico if you want to talk about that country as well. Okay. But today we're going to talk about Santa Claus. So this guy, well. Not really, but yeah, that's or or this Santa Claus won't be a fake, but I'm talking about Okay, so we talk about Santa Claus. Okay? And if you want to see I got I have the Grinch as as a stuffed animal, really. I'm not sure if you like I like the I like the cartoon one really, the one with Jim Carrey or the and also the other new movie or the, also New Grinch they're okay but I think I like the cartoon one better. I like I think I like the cartoon Grinch movie better. So yeah, I'm not sure if you like the Grinch, you know, he's yeah he's the one who saved Christmas in the in the Who in Whoville. Yeah, and yeah, I know I'm here to talk about it. Just knows it. Talking today, um, what does the Bible say about Santa Claus? Okay, so what does the Bible say about Santa Claus? Well, anyway, should parents teach about about Santa Claus? Teach their kids about Santa Claus? What's the what does the Bible what the what the Bible what's the Bible say about Santa Claus? Well.
because I celebrate Christmas, but me and Timmy saying, okay? Well, me and Timmy saying, God is the guy who knows when you're sleep, who 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 sees you when you're sleeping, and He knows when you're awake, and God knows when you've been bad or good, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're bad or and it doesn't matter if you're good or bad anyway, because once you get saved, because once you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, okay, once you're saved, you're saved forever, okay, you won't go to hell, okay. And I know my and I know and I know my and I know this is just a step animal, so I like the Grinch though. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just a step animal. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna make him talk. Just let you know because he doesn't. Because step animals don't talk at all, anyway. But I'm gonna make this video about Santa Claus so that you know. Hmm. All right. So, it's Santa. So the people who sing about Santa is that you have to be good for goodness' sake, which is not good, which is stupid in a way because that's teaching works salvation. So yeah, I know, I know where it goes for Santa Claus. If you're, if you're good. You get present, you get bad, you get coals in your stocking. Yeah, that's stupid. Jesus Christ doesn't need her. Come on. I think we're all been no I think if if Jesus Christ has a has a naughty and nice list, I think you've all been the naughty list according to Jesus according to the according to Jesus Christ. Why? Because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Okay? We don't need to be good, we don't need to be good to be saved. So there's no one good but God. Okay, so so I think I believe we're all the naughty. I believe we're all the naughty list according to Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about Santa Claus, but me to preach against Santa Claus anyway, because it's the replacement of Jesus Christ, and we need to. To do something about it. Okay? Now, the word Santa means holy in Spanish. Okay? So, this is, and you people are calling Santa Claus. This is blasphemy, guys. Okay? And I know it is true you take out the word Santa, you get Satan. So, but Santa means holy. It's a, it's a feminine for holy. So, we can just call it Santa. Santo? Because Santa's a male, not a female. The only female version of it. it it would be would be Mrs. Claus, but Mrs. Claus. Well, I don't know who is the real who. I don't know who was Mrs. Claus either. Now the real Santa Claus is Saint Nicholas. Now is there is there is there a real Santa Claus? Well, the real Santa Claus is Saint Nicholas. I don't know who is the wife of Saint Nicholas though. Who is the real Mrs. Claus? Let me a good question to know. Because who's going to say Nicholas? Myra. Okay. So So I can say that Myra. Okay, so yes, Myra. That's uh, I'm not sure you can see it on my phone very well. I'll put this down. Okay, that's the real Mrs. Claus. Okay. Now, if you want to see me a picture of me. Of, of of a Santa of, of of Santa Claus, I'll show it to you. Because.
because it's a picture of me and and a and someone just with a Santa Claus. Okay, and I was a little kid back then, so so I didn't know this about that anyway. But we need to learn about this one. Santa Claus is a replacement of Jesus Christ. Okay, and this is what I'm trying to expose. Okay. And I was a little kid back then, so I don't know. But that's me and and, and someone dressed up as Santa Claus. So why? It, it's because I believe Santa Claus is not real. Okay. I'll keep the picture though, but And then I'm not sure if you like the Grinch, but the Grinch is the one who saved Christmas in Whoville. So. 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 And he's from Dr. Seuss. And I hope Dr. Seuss is in heaven. Okay? Because, you know, because I don't want anyone to go to hell. I want people to go to heaven. <laughs> okay, now, let's learn about this. So, and I got it from this. So, should Okay, should Christian should Christian teach their children about Santa Claus? This is an interesting question. My wife has raised has not raised a typical Christian home. But don't get me wrong, our parents would acknowledge that God exists even when we pray at times. But we did not study the Bible, attend church regularly. Okay. And then I go reasons of scriptures. In other words, we weren't really trained in faith devout Christians in any sense of the word. I hadn't I'm reading the entire Bible for my mid twenties. It's sad but true. I'm still twenty six. Anyway, nevertheless, like most households, we knew all about Santa Claus. I could remember as a kid being excited each year of the prospect of getting gifts, mysterious of this mysterious Santa Claus figure. Old Saint Nick will always have the same cookies or snacks on the top of the house each year. It was the tradition that my wife have both enjoyed as children, but now that my wife have become born again Christians uh, who may be having children of our own within the next few years, we have been discussing some traditions we want to create of our for our own family such as such. This very topic has came up recently, so I thought we shared our thoughts on this topic. The orange of Santa Claus. Okay. Um Yeah, okay. All right, so let me see. Well, me and the Grinch, anyway. I'm just pretending. He can see because he can't anyway. Um, the origins of Santa Claus. The interesting thing to keep in mind, and that is that Santa Claus is merely a mythical legend, of likely based upon a real man, Saint Nicholas. Okay, Saint Nicholas was a Christian bishop um, living in, in 270. Okay, and then and he, and he died in in December 6 of 343. Okay. And he was involved with the church, okay, within the church, okay, with it, okay, it is an addition to the Christian faith. He was also very generous of a wealthy family. In addition of the gift, giving, and then security of true story, changed over to the 
28. And the eggs of, okay, who had the, you spend eggs on reindeer, chimney, etc. Yeah, I don't believe in, in Santa Claus's reindeer. Let me take a look up the names of Santa Claus's reindeer. And there's nine of them, so. Because the only people don't believe reindeer can fly. Reindeer can't fly. Okay. Okay. Or is it reindeers plural? I don't know, but... Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. So Santa Claus is a total of nine reindeer. Okay, according to um, what people are saying, so it's so it's okay. So Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Fixin, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Okay. Okay, and the last one is Rudolph. Okay, which is the red nosed reindeer. Okay. Now, guys, these guys, do you think these reindeers can fly? All these nine reindeer, including the red nose one, Rudolph. Yeah. Reindeer can't fly. And these reindeers are all make believe. Look. All these reindeers are make believe. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. All these reindeer. Are all make believe. Okay, they're not real. Okay, now there's this thing as real reindeer, but none of these reindeer that we are in this in this country, but none of this, but none of these reindeer that Santa Claus has are real. Okay, now there's this thing as real reindeer, but they can't fly. Okay, and I don't, and there might be. So I don't know why. I have to expose this, you know, you know, like every Christmas, because I don't like this. Also, you should point out the Saint Nicholas is supposed to have born uh, was born hundred years before before the Gospels were written. Then the Bible never written. The Bible never mentions Santa Claus. Well, of course it doesn't. Not even the word Christmas is found in the Bible. If I do celebrate Christmas, and I do think it's okay not to tell about them, but only in context to tell me a bedtime story, i.e. Pinocchio or Peter Pan. Yeah, those are the Disney shows, by the way. Let's keep reading, though. I think parents should be honest that you let their children from the beginning. I don't read them to believe this is real at all, but if you feel a complaint to talk about Santa... Tell them what is about as true as to go man and share what is one of the story it we should know today. After all, you don't want your kids to see him have to race another planet and need to see these stories commercial decorations each year. Yeah, well, if we talk about another planet, you know, well, I don't want to live in another planet, okay? If I really want to go to another planet, I'll probably explore it. I can... I, I might explore Mars, but if I want to... I might... But... You know, my... You know, my... You know, my life is here on Earth, so... You know, Mars could be a good... Good planet to explore, but... But my life is here on Earth anyway, so... The moon could be a good place to explore, too. I 
I don't I don't know about Mercury because um well at least you can get to the cold side of Mercury. I don't think there's any way you can explore Venus unless you can handle unless there's any way you can unless you can find a way to re can protect yourself from the heat of Venus. But that's another story. Anyway, let's just keep reading. Remember not to lie to them. Encourage them to believe in it. To believe in a real Santa. Lying is a sin, even for fun. You need to try assuming of what is true and it isn't true. In fact, atheists always love the time of the year to compare belief in Santa Claus and in, in Santa for children, the grown-up equivalent of humans believing in God. This isn't true, of course. I always remind the atheist, the Saint Nick, in fact, the real and a Christian. Anyway, Christians promote Christ above all things this time of year. Jesus is the reason for the reason. Is reason for the season. Parents should be teaching their children about about that Christ is the reason for the celebration, not Santa. Read the Gospels, the first and birth story instead. There'll be a great cartoon, for or amen Bibles for this purpose, rather than constantly indulging them. And movies and books on Santa, of course. There is nothing wrong with a Christian story or movie, but the focus should be on Christ, right? Of course, I understand about that. Yeah. I also, recommend Christians to be decorating with scenes of nativity. Um, an overweight man in an ominous red suit. This is only one thing my wife had changed from home in a tradition. Okay. We put more emphasis on decorations on Christ, not Santa. In fact, we do not owe single Santa Claus decoration. Okay, taste but the goal of Santa's secular words. Satan's subjection news in Christ was born, died on the cross, and did redeem our sins. Okay, and this is something that should be taken lightly. For sins are a great way to get kids to focus on me, 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 instead of Jesus and helping others. Why my wife and I planned what to do with children and tell both of them the true story and a myth, but it will always be in the way that they know mythical portions aren't true. We will make a point to say it's only make believe. And they will never believe in a real Santa flying around, hopping down chimneys, eating loads of cookies, and leaving parents okay for all kids over the world. Instead, they will know who is the real man who of the gift gifts and also this about this make believe version of the story. But that's it. Santa will be marginalized and he'll and he'll almost be forgotten. Instead I will I will spend the majority of my time telling my kids about the story of Jesus. I will tell them he's also celebrating a member. It's an amazing sacrifice during the time of uh, during this time of year. Also I'm not going to that some overweight man in a red suit battling potential cause of Rosa See ya. and diabetes and get the credit of any gifts and, and I give my own kids. I want to know that my wife and I are the ones that give them gifts. It was because we love them in addition we don't want to use Santa to scare tactic like some parents do. Telling my kids that all aren't good they won't give presents? Oh no. Santa will be demolished, as it will be so diminished in my household that my kids will barely think of them. Instead, I want Christmas holidays to be filled with love, giving a major emphasis of a real reason for this for this of this season, Jesus Christ. Finally, it was worth mentioning this last point. How many of us Christians get upset when stores force people to say Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas? Well. I don't think there's any wrong with this happy holidays. 
Merry, it means the same thing as Merry Christmas. How many of us get when atheists whine with, with pitch hissy bits? Okay, and your nativity scenes of other Christian decorations removed are from government property. Yet, many, how many of us doing things of honesty stripping Christ from Christmas? Presenting the war down gift giving a beast man and hence his replacement. How sad. We take the time and honor Memorial Day, President's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and, and everything else. We can't we give the Creator a day granted. We should worship Him in spirit and in truth. There's 55 days a year. We should take purity every day. Yeah. Yes, of course. Um... And true, the Bible may never come out. They said that Jesus was born on December 25th. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. Nevertheless, we, can, we can't choose to honor him just a little bit more and on day out of a year. Can we stop the reflect of his amazing virgin birth? Her sleeper was born only to die, a gazing death. We might say we might have, a, we might have life. Seclusion is to teach their kids about Santa Claus fiction character only. It's a big point of the many feelings of how Christians should approach Santa Claus. Okay, so according to this many accounts, St. Nicholas was a real man, was a Christian, which is what Santa was traditionally based on. Okay, yeah. Christians should focus on the children of the true meaning of Christmas. A Savior was born in the flesh and redeemed our sins. Christ should always be a main focus, and the Santa thing should be mentioned in passing, never emphasized. Christians should tell their children about the true myth. Okay, mythical story of Santa, Saint Nick, only to their kids who can understand it at all. Again, this should this never be dominant in a holiday. Children should be able to tell the name of the twelve disciples, not Santa's nine reindeer. Yes, Mom, I'll come soon, okay? There should be singing hymns and songs about Christ, not Santa Claus is coming to town. You should be striving to be good, because God's will, not because they may get shiny new toy, but children should never um, lie of their children's sin, and they never believe in mythical persons, even if it's for fun. Not only is it a sin, but doesn't get a good example for the children in the long run. Okay, well, let me read this. Well, let me read the rest of this and I'll go help my mom, okay? And I'll go back and make the rest of this video because I'm not finished yet. Don't make Christians about, about, don't make, don't make Christmas about presents either. This should only be an afterthought. Make it about Christ. Make about giving, not so much about receiving, but about loving and about giving worship to our Creator. Gift giving is about something people may choose to do it for them. Okay? And have fun on the side. It shouldn't be a central theme. I'm not saying to avoid giving gifts to your children, but rather they should focus on giving first, receiving second. Yes. So now that I'm a Christian, this is a personal view of issue after some prayer, reflection, and study. I'm sure some, some Christians may do things a little differently, but it's, it's what I think it is most appropriate for us as a Christian family. I encourage other Christians to follow something similar. Wow. Now, guys, I'm going to help my mom to make dinner. So guys, I'll be right back. I gotta help. I gotta eat dinner, right, guys. Okay, sorry, guys. I gotta eat dinner right now. So I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay. Now, um, uh,
I don't know. But today, okay, I know this is the continuation. Okay, this is just a, okay, we're going to talk about Santa Claus, right? Well, I'm going to read about, I'm going to read about Ancestors and Genesis. Yeah, okay. Now, I know, I, I know Ancestors and Genesis are teaching um works, salvation, but, you know, but they're pretty good about science. That's why I'm using their, um, that's why I'm reading their articles, okay? I'm not believing what they're saying because, because I know, I know, I know how bad, I know Ensign and Genesis are wrong, but that's fine. So let's keep reading. So, so here's Christians and Santa Claus and a biblical view. Okay, so I drive this, as I drive through my neighborhood in December, I am comfortable with giants and dancing on my neighbor's lawns. A six foot tall Scooby Doo sways and breathes, dawning in my red net cap. An inflatable console that wouldn't fit in my living room, living room spins a snowman, a reindeer, an elf, and then a circuit. Santa Claus can be a plastic life form, a play of fabric, play wood, slat, okay, slatty, um, various additions, including catching a bass with a large fishing pole. Oh, look, the yard manager is seen surrounded by reindeer. And candy canes and soldiers and snowmen. And you get the point. Yeah, of course I do. And you brought someone if you brought someone from Russia to my neighborhood and they were fear they were in fear from inferior army. And so you doubt it would it would convey the message of the creator entering his creation to redeem of the curse of sin. The manager scenes I might have raised the qu a question. Let cross in my yard and the message. A savior is born. We willfully draw the visitor's attention. These are certainly lost among the troop formations. This is the reason about celebrating dancing snowmen and blinking lines of our savior, the hope uh, he beings he brings. Suddenly our culture has shifted its focus on dazzling decorations away from the dazzling savior. Commercialism has swallowed whatever C Christmas used to be. This is bottles are fought in the very name of the holiday, Santa Claus. Is to embrace the very many of then in the infant Jesus. Santa Claus, Santa is the the modern culture in is introduced as so everything from soda and to sent to sports cards. That's concerned that we can learn from God's word we're in Christmas and Santa Claus in light of our true meaning of Christmas. The origins of Santa Claus. Yes, um, as we many things in our culture, Santa has beginnings of Christian past. As religions just have it, and God said that Santa is rooted in the real, is the real, is rooted as a real Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, okay, dating to the fourth century. Um, Nicholas is amount of the, is is a, and he had a large amount of money used, much of his fortune, and helped the, the the poor. Um, Nicholas gave freely to need his people around the fulfilling commands of Christ's aid of uh, aid of poor. After his death, the Catholic Church recognized him as a saint. Um, the common American of, a saint, of the Sixth Odin of, of Santa. What well, is true that St. Nicholas was a Catholic, but he might have become a Christian later on in the future. So, he might have, I would say, I hope St. Nicholas is in heaven. Let's give me. My clothing of uh, likely found at red robes or bishops. The white beard is the other trappings. A.G. reindeer, sleighs, elves, etc., like the adopted from influences of mingled, together from centuries. In the celebration of Santa, a gay Saint Nick, Chris, Gringo Father Christmas, or Santa Claus around the world. Some of these are uh, villages uh, as shoes, subdued uh, for stockings of the north uh, and the North Pole for the mountains and uh, Lapland. Um, I don't believe there's any scent. I don't believe you will find Santa Claus if you go to the North Pole at all because, yeah, because, um, you might, 
you know, it, it would be fun to explore. It would be good to. It would be fun to go to the North Pole and explore what's over there. You might have to watch out for um. You might have to watch out for polar bears though, because they because polar bears live in the North Pole. But you know, there's also you could also go to the South Pole. as well and there's snow over there too so but yeah but yeah of course there's no polar bears in the south pole only in the north pole I think but it doesn't really matter anyway so you're not gonna find Santa Claus anywhere I mean okay including the north pole okay and you're off and you can explore what's in the North Pole and the South Pole if you want to. Okay? You know. Okay, so wintertime worship. Santa Claus or Jesus Christ? Nicholas Santa is currently found in the man of honor Jesus Christ in his, in his life and his possessions. Nicholas gave freely of his riches to benefit those who are less fortunate than himself. This is a fundamental Christian principle. As we can, as we see care, um, the poor, the poor can proclaim throughout Scripture. It's in James chapter twenty, it's in James two, verse one through seventeen. It's the same idea we see that and we see in the Santa Claus celebrated today. The poor song, we saw children to stop shouting and pouting and cry, in order to stand in favor. And his gifts. This is going on in added to his see biblically motivated actions. The ritual of the ritual of Saint Nick, a far, a far. A far cry from being added to raising children in the fear mission of the Lord. And put the overhead of the gifts for seeing the many of children, and way of way of the pleases of parent of time, such as many variation, very and, and is totally unbiblical. As Christians, you should discipline our children as as our sinful. Behavior because it's an offense against God, not because it's inconvenient or embracing for us. Using gifts from a mythical finger only serves to promote a form of moralism, is an alien to the gospel of Jesus Christ, and our actions are done to rewards for ourselves. We're not acting selfishly, but it's not an attitude we so seek and still in our children. Yes. The motivation of beauty of God's command to should be added to the grant of own grace has shown us. The gospel seeks of God's work in giving, where sins not because of the acts of a we have done, but because of Christ did on the cross for us. And I said to the people of verse 17. Then we can do to make us righteous before God and deserving his good gifts. Right. And that's Nebus after verse 10. I'm not gonna read it. I was gonna skip over here. Does the promotion of Santa Christian of Christ, since Jesus and Santa Let's bring completing, completing, okay, completing images. I would just, the answer is no. As Jesus Christ continues to uh, marginalize our society, our goal is to magnify him in our homes. Our children is impressed of his kindness, as shown on the cross, and images as original St. Nicholas would have committed. Mommy, is there already a Santa Claus? As Christians, we must. Lawfully considered that the scripture is full of commands against deceiving others. I think Ephesians chapter 20 verse 16, Psalm chapter 101 verse 7, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25, and then 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. Yes, for instance, the proclaiming the existence of man and a slave with flying reindeer is a fact, it only needed to descend. Please understand that I am not saying there is no peace for imagination. And there's no okay, there's no place. I'm not saying there's no place for imagination, of course. But the eleven visits of Santa appears to, to cross the line. The active teaching of Santa as a real person who performs real miracles to award children who act in a certain way full knowledge that he is a myth. The only describe is is decent. Yes. Any parent from Jesus or children much about who is popular about Santa knows 
they will eventually learn it is all a lie. Lying is a sin and cannot be justified on biblical grounds. And we bow the pleasures to our true and conform the ways of the world. Do you celebrate Santa or so that Christ can be exalted rather than dealing with the root of sin against God? Who is the definition of good? And goodness, promoted by Santa, finds its roots in mystic of philosophy, behavior modification. Yeah. As children grow, they undoubtedly began to hear others speaking of the mythical nature of Santa. He was asked to explore the answer of the parents they have trusted. Since some, since some, some may wait, some not wish, totally a skirt of issue of Santa Claus. And it is difficult to do anyway. But skip how it's possible to allow children about the real St. Nicholas. Maybe to share some fun of make believe while being, being honest with our children. So, um, what is this? So glory robber. If Santa Claus had taken the uh, stake in the glory of Jesus and celebration of Christmas, maybe it's the time to consider cheating neighbors. I understand on these are matters of conscience in many ways. So your Christmas will come to different conclusions on Santa Claus. I would ask if you examine your decisions in light of scripture teaches. If our conscience of convicts of sin in our hearts, and let's bring that God and repentance know that he will freely give us because of what Christ has done. Move for a Gentile's Christmas, contrary to the article of the his course worship is due. This season is in creation. Let us make the word of God our authority decisions of serving this every holiday giving God the glory and his alone deserves. Okay. Let me talk about this. Well, we could talk about more about Santa Claus, but yeah, but we need to learn something here. So there's all this thing as Santa Claus. This is my try to try to talk about in this video, but meaning um for right now. So the real Santa Claus was Saint Nick, and Myra. Was, okay, and was the real Mrs. Claus. Okay, so... The scenes of Cyclops we have today is not real. Okay, and we need to talk about that later on, so... Okay, so here it is. The point of false religions and damned souls to hell. Okay, we need to go over this before all Lord Jesus Christ. And salvation is by faith alone, grace on Jesus Christ alone, and one saved, always saved. By easy believism is the truth. Okay? Okay. When we mean that you can't lose your salvation, don't save forever. Okay. By easy believism is that salvation is easy. Okay? Just believe on Jesus Christ for salvation. Okay? Now, I know I've been talking a lot about the United States of America as well, but. You know there's another country you want me to talk about. Okay? Because you know, I know I've only been I only been in the United States of America. But if there's another country I talk about, you can let me know. And you can talk about Mexico if you want. That's a country that's pretty close to the United States. And you can also talk about Canada as well if you want to. That's another country that's about that is pretty close to the U.S. So we can. If you want, we can talk about India, because that's in the Bible, because that country's in the Bible. Or we can talk about Israel. What's one? Okay, we can also talk about Italy, you know, like, because that's where Romans is. We can also talk about the largest country in the world, Russia. Or we can talk about a country that's about as big as the United States of America, 
which will be China. Or we could talk about Taiwan. And we could also talk about Mongolia as well. So there's other th there's other other countries we can talk about as well. Just let me know in comments below if you want me to talk about 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 others uh, if you want me to talk about about some of these countries right here or any other ones. But just let me know. Anyway, so I try to preach to you that, that I don't believe in Santa Claus. I believe in our Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. Okay? And um and the people who believe in Santa Claus are probably just going to go to uh, probably just gonna to go to hell anyway. So we're gonna try the next video. Well Okay, so until my next video is um, maybe about maybe about the Grinch. Cause I try to make a Christmas, so to make a yeah, now yeah, since we're getting closer to Christmas, maybe my videos could be Christian maybe mean Christmas based now. Yeah, I do celebrate Christmas, but I celebrate Christmas as in the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay? So, Okay, so yeah, okay, wrong one. Okay. Oh, okay. So our next video is what does the Bible say about the Grinch? Okay. <laughs> so next video, talk about what the so next video, I'm going to talk about what the Bible says about the Grinch. Okay, and then I'll talk about Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I do want to talk about other things too. Um, So, we will talk about what the Bible says about the Grinch. 
next video, okay? And then you can talk about Jesus Christ, okay? Yeah, I just celebrate and now do I celebrate New Year's? Well, yes. I do celebrate New Year's, of course. Hmm. I wanna find out what the other New Year's is like. And I'm talking about the other kind of New Year's, Chinese New Year. I wanna find out what kind of New Year's is like. Well, later on, yeah, I'm gonna have to Yeah, I know a little bit about that, but I don't know. I might have to. I might have to ask um, Chinese people about 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 um about 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 Chinese New Year later on in the future, if you to learn more about it anyway. But I do believe the Bible says anyway, since um, because anyway, I do believe what the Bible says, and God. Okay, it is my ultimate authority of what the Bible says. Okay? And and I hope you can forget about about Santa Claus and start believing our Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, okay? And next week we can talk about the Grinch. What the Bible what does the Bible say about the Grinch? Okay? Okay, and then you can talk about but the Bible, what does the Bible say about Jesus Christ? Okay, okay. Okay. So yes, I gotta go right now. But thank you for watching this video. So that's what we talk about next video, okay? Okay. Anyway, 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 I gotta go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Okay, so I gotta go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you just stood by.